So let me just drag it along. So here's the before and the left. And here we have the after. And you see that everything is more. But before we start, let me introduce myself. My name is Rico Richardson and I upload weekly videos on Darktable in DaVinci. So if you're into that, please consider subscribing. Now let's go. Now I know that not a lot of people are a fan of the AI editing, but I just need to show you because here we have an AI landscape edit, which is being done automatically. And we've got autumn colors, we've got deep sky. So these are edits that Luminar does itself. We're not going to do that right now because I'm going to manually adjust this, but I am going to use the AI settings. We've got a few options here on the left side. We've got the first one, which is essentials. Then we've got creative, we've got portrait and we've got professional settings. I'm not going to touch any of these. I'm just going to touch the essentials. Reason being is because this is where the AI enhance and AI structure is. Now let me open up the AI enhance and let me just move the slider from the AI accent and you will automatically see that the image is starting to shift. And as a matter of fact, this is being emphasized a lot. And I really, really like what Luminar is doing to this image. I can't help it. It just looks absolutely amazing. And now the second thing is the AI structure. You can change the amount of how much structure you want it to have. So I would consider this to be like a contrast equalizer module in Darktable because now everything is very soft and we're just going to increase it because I want this image to pop. I want this image to tell you something. And you also have a boost slider, which can make it even more dramatic. And I don't want it to be 100% because the water seems to be unnatural. However, I do like the fact that I've got the ripples in the water. Now, please keep in mind, though, that the way this image was shot was in a way that everything in the image was in focus. So I don't mind the effect being a little bit strong because, as I said before, I like to edit photos as they appear in real life. Now, obviously, everything won't be as blue. I mean, it's not like a grease or uh, in the Adriatic, Adriatic, Adriatic Sea. Let me look that up. Adriatic Sea, that's the word I was looking for, but I do believe that this was a very bright day. The sun was shining, so I don't mind it being a little bit more oversaturated. And now as a final touch, what I want to do is I just look at this image and I figured that this is where the sun is. And in this case, I want to add some sun rays. And I know I said I wasn't going to use any of the other modules or the other menus. But in this case, I do have to use the creative one because I want to add the sun rays in the corner of this image. So here we have a sun rays menu. I'm going to click that. I'm not going to change the sky or replace the sky. I've made a different video on that. I'll be sure to put it in the description down below for you to check it out. But in this case, I'm just going to hit the place sun center and I'm going to drag this to the corner of the image. I'm going to increase the amount. So you see that it's very, very strong, which doesn't look good. So I'm just going to tone it down just a little bit, maybe around 1920. And you can change the overall look as well, and that will affect the entire image. So now it's on 100%. You see that everything becomes lighter and I can put it on zero. And now it's basically almost gone. So I'm just going to increase it just a little bit. And you can also change the sun rays length. So how far they will stretch into your image. Now, this standard value of 50 is more than enough for this image. And the penetration is basically like a dodge and burn version. So you can really blow it out if you want to, but you can make it darker as well. So now everything is gone. So the standard value is 40, but I'm going to increase it to 50. And that just gives it that little creative touch I like. Now let me show you before and after. So we're going back to the census menu and here's a button that you can use. So if you click it, you, we've got a before here and after here. So let me just drag it along. So here's the before on the left. And here we have the after. And you see that everything is more sharp and it's got more details and it looks absolutely stunning. And that's it for this week. Thanks again, Tore Hans and Wahlberg for this image. If you want to see more of me, please click that playlist over there. And if you haven't subscribed already, you can do so by clicking that button over there. And for this week, there's only one more thing left for me to say, which is make love to the like button. And until next time, doei!